With Age of Empires 4 finally coming out next month, we wanted to share some of the gameplay from the recent technical stress test that we tried out. Now if you do enjoy these videos make sure to drop a like and stay subscribed down below to keep up to date with all of our content. As well as let me know in the comments if you have any fond memories of playing the original Age of Empire games. I definitely know that I do. And I am of course Paradise Central and we're going to talk a little bit about the game, what happened in the gameplay, some information about the release and the contents of the game and all that good stuff. So. First of all, this was a technical stress test, so of course there might be some changes, some differences in the full game and whatnot. This was mostly to test the multiplayer servers, so this gameplay you're seeing is multiplayer gameplay. It is myself and a random person online against two intermediate level bots. And I will say guys, this is my very first time playing Age of Empires 4, my first time playing an Age of Empires game for many, many, many years. And there was no tutorial or anything like that. We literally got into the uh, the stress test right at the end. So I literally only had time to play one game and this is the game. I got absolutely destroyed. I had a load of fun. I learned a load of stuff along the way. If I was able to play another match or maybe have a tutorial or something, I think that it would have gone better overall. But I really enjoyed my time playing it. I I really have to say guys, it gave me those vibes of the original Age of Empires. The way that it plays, making the uh, sort of the villagers to go and mine on to build, creating walls to protect your base, creating individual archers, soldiers, cavalry to then put them together and send them towards the enemy base. It was all very reminiscent to the Age of Empire games of the past. And of course, wonders are back as well. So if you want to build up and have your play style to where you rush to build a wonder, that is back as well, which is really cool. But overall, in terms of the feeling of the game and how it was, even though I lost this match, I definitely walked away thinking, I can't wait to play this again. I can't wait to try out the different factions. And of course the campaigns that we'll talk about in a little bit, because this was just a random online match. So overall gameplay wise, I was quite impressed. I know some people were upset about the visuals not being as good as they wanted it to, but I'm telling you guys, even though I agree with that, the actual gameplay feels very solid and I do think it gives you that strong Age of Empires feeling, which I think ultimately is more important than graphics. So the game actually releases on October 28th, so it's about a month away. It's on the Windows Store and Steam, but will also be playable on release day on the Xbox Game Pass for PC. I've said it in a few of the past videos for these Game Pass release date titles. It is quite a deal. I'm thinking that the Xbox Game Pass is getting more and more lucrative as these games come out, especially on release day. There's also going to be eight civilizations within the game. The Chinese, the Delhi Sultanate, the English, the Mongols, the French, the Abbasid Dynasty, the Holy Roman Empire and the Rus. And in the gameplay, I am of course playing as England. My partner is playing as Holy Roman Empire and the enemies are the Abbasid Dynasty and the English to mirror myself. So setting aside the multiplayer stuff, there's going to be four campaigns in the game. The Norman campaign where you basically play as William of Normandy as he sets forth on his road to conquer England and become the new king. There's also the 100 Years War, which is basically this, war, this long war where the English are raiding and France must gather its resistance to fight and resist the onslaught. This is basically the Joan of Arc timeline. And then there's the Rise of Moscow, where you play as the Rus, and you basically are battling the relentless brutality of the Mongol invasion. And finally, there's also the fourth campaign, the Mongol Empire. And there's no info on that one yet, but clearly it looks like you're going to be playing the Mongol Empire. So overall, we've got four campaigns, eight different civilizations releasing next month. It's on Game Pass as well. The bit of gameplay that I played I thought was very satisfying. I can't wait to try out the campaigns myself. I'll pull up the minimum and the recommended system requirements on the screen now. And of course, I will leave you guys now with the rest of the gameplay from this match. Obviously, I ultimately lose. They win, but we'll see how they win in the match. It wasn't quite how I was expecting them to win. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay and let me know what you think of Age of Empires down in the comments. Of course, drop a like and do stay subscribed if you enjoy these videos. And I'll leave you with the gameplay. So I'll see you guys next time. Fully in there, handsome. And you work it. 
Strela, strela boren, järva, strela boren, färre. Winner do hit. Yeah, yeah, meet your willa. Yeah. Talenda, good beach. Yes, sir. West to Hala. Good end Go. Hester's commending. Each a one. Equal or two, hey? Here I'm up for. Yeah, yeah. 
If you want to catch more from us at Arex Gaming, don't forget you can catch the guys 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch weekdays, playing a variety of games. If you guys want to jump in, tune in, watch and even join in, then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below. And of course, you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.